The OnePlus 13 is out with the most powerful chip in any Android phone, the Snapdragon 8 Elite. So I wanted to compare it against the most powerful chip in iOS devices, the A18 Pro, inside the 16 Pro Max, to find out which one is better under extreme stress. To answer this question, let's do a heavy workload test. As usual, the test requires each phone to run four heavy tasks at the same time for 30 minutes as shown now on the screen. Both phones are running the latest stable software version available at the time of filming this video. I will be using cellular data with 5G set to auto. The OnePlus 13 is set to its maximum screen resolution, which is higher than the iPhone. The 120Hz refresh rate is activated on both, and the brightness level is calibrated on the same light meter. The test will start with 80% battery, but the OnePlus immediately drops the first 1% right after unplugging the phone from the charger, so I will consider this in my calculations. The initial temperatures in Celsius from left to right are 28.4 and 24.6. That's a big difference in the ideal temperature, even though there is only 0.7 degrees difference in the room temperature. So let's see how it will translate in the actual test. Now let's prepare the phones. Task number one is a Microsoft Teams meeting with the screen sharing enabled. You can see the screen sharing performance on the secondary phone throughout the test. Task number two is to play a 2160p video on YouTube in picture in picture view. Then start Google Maps navigation in the background and to finally play Asphalt Unite. Once I started the game, both activated their respective game mode to give extra boost. Let me also show you the graphics settings before starting the stopwatch. Both are set to 60 frames per second with the highest settings possible. The only difference I see is in the base profile option. On OnePlus, it has three levels with the highest one called the high quality. In contrast, the iPhone has two levels with the highest called quality. I'm not sure if this will make any difference but we'll find out in the game. So let's fast forward to the first race to see which one has better graphics. And here the iPhone is certainly better. It has more effects like the raindrops that hit the glass and more motion blur. Before heading to the comments section saying that games are more optimized for iOS, let me tell you that my Pixel 9 Pro XL and the S24 Ultra match the iPhone graphics under the same settings. In this side-by-side -side comparison, you can see how worse is the OnePlus 13 when compared to the other Android phones running on the same settings. So it seems like OnePlus is tuning down the Snapdragon 8 Elite to avoid any overheating. I also gone through all the system settings on the OnePlus 13 and the only related game setting I found is the game services toggle which is on by default. Turning off this option didn't make any difference. Back to the test, the iPhone was also better in the screen sharing performance, so let's keep going to see if things will change. After 13 minutes and 11 seconds, the iPhone had a big brightness drop, while the OnePlus 13 didn't give up just yet. Other than this, both still perform as good as before with the iPhone leading the graphics quality and the screen sharing, but not the brightness. Shortly after, at the 14 minutes and 47 seconds mark, the OnePlus 13 had its first problem. It paused the screen sharing for 20 seconds, going back to normal at the 15 minutes and 7 seconds mark. Other than this, nothing changed on both sides, so let's keep going. Eight minutes after, at the 23 minutes and four seconds mark, the 16 Pro Max started to struggle. It paused the YouTube video. The FPS dropped significantly with the dimmer display. The video resumed playing after 20 seconds, but thankfully no thermal warning or crashes so far. In contrast, the OnePlus 13 is still sustaining the same performance with higher brightness, but at the cost of worse graphics and screen sharing. Not long after, the iPhone paused the YouTube video again at the 23 minutes and 50 seconds mark, but this time it stayed for longer. It resumed the playback after 45 seconds, and the FPS kept getting worse over time, making the game barely playable. The OnePlus 13 was able to sustain its FPS and the brightness till this point since the beginning of the test. Before jumping to the last checkpoint, let's take a quick break with today's sponsor. Let me introduce you to PDF Element by Wondershare. PDF Element makes it super simple to edit your PDFs. You can replace or add your own text, highlight text with different colors, add images, create your own text or image watermark by adjusting the styling and position settings the way you want. And it's not only about editing. 
you will also be able to create your own password protected digital signature and sign your document in a matter of seconds. Convert PDFs to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Image, PDF Archive, and more. It can compress large PDFs to smaller sizes or compare two different files to easily spot the differences between them. PDF Element will also give you a lot of useful AI features, like summarizing the PDF to get a general idea about the content in a couple of paragraphs, ask any question about the PDF and get the answer you are looking for instead of going through the whole document yourself. Translate the content in 51 different languages and it happens in line to keep the same design and look of the original PDF. Proofread the file to spot any grammar mistakes or generate images in different styles using AI and a lot more. PDF Element is available for Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android in multiple different plans to suit your needs from yearly to a one-time fee, either for single or cross-platform support. To know more, please check the links in the description below and now let's get back to the review. Since the last checkpoint till now, nothing changed. But let me give you one final look at the performance before wrapping up. The OnePlus 13 has better FPS and the brightness, while the iPhone has better graphics and the screen sharing. So let's fast forward to the end to compare the other factors. After the full 30 minutes, the OnePlus battery dropped from 79 to 63%, which is a 16% loss. In contrast, the 16 Pro Max lost only 13% to be at 67. Despite the massive difference in the battery capacity in favor of OnePlus, but the iPhone remains the king in this area. Temperature-wise, the OnePlus 13 is also worse. It reached 45 to 46 something at the hottest points, while the iPhone maxed out at 44.2 degrees. So let's summarize the test results. The OnePlus 13 has a higher screen resolution, but the iPhone delivered a better experience for its higher graphics quality. The screen sharing performance was also better on the iPhone. In the brightness, the OnePlus 13 wins. It kept the same level end-to-end, -end, while the 16 Pro Max had a big brightness drop after 13 minutes and 11 seconds. OnePlus sustained the game FPS too, while the iPhone started to struggle after 23 minutes. Another point to OnePlus is the stability. It paused the screen sharing once for 20 seconds, while the iPhone paused the YouTube video twice for 20 and 45 seconds each. In contrast, the 16 Pro Max was better in both the battery consumption and thermals. So overall, it's a draw between the two in terms of count, but you are the judge what factors matter the most to you. Please let me know in the comments if you want me to compare the OnePlus 13 to more phones. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.